Today marks the first commemoration of the International Day for Persons of African Descent. Today is a day to reaffirm that the abolition of slavery did not end stigmatization and differential treatment and exclusion of persons of African descent. The murders of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd in the USA, Anderson Abel Bleda and Harold Morales in Colombia, Mariel Franco and Joao Silveira in Brazil, and so many others, including the missing five Garifuna leaders in Honduras, are all different results of violence based on the historical and structural processes of systematic racism and discrimination based on ethnic racial backgrounds. States must make reforms, a central axis of transformation in eradicating the institutional racism present in existing laws and in the actions of law enforcement authorities, as well as in the operations of justice systems, which have a disproportionate impact to the detriment of Afro-descendant persons. Our states must ensure that the Inter-American Convention Against Racism, Racial Discrimination, and All Forms of Intolerance is universally ratified in the Americas and implemented. It is vitally necessary to promote a cultural and structural change aiming to combat all different forms of racial discrimination and intolerant acts faced by Afro-descendant peoples and tribal communities. A comprehensive and satisfactory reparation in an intercultural manner and with an intersectional approach still remains an outstanding debt for people of African descent.